how to use Zapier easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Zapier. So let's get into it. Now, Zapier is a automation platform that will enable you to streamline your work in all other platforms. So a lot of people get confused what exactly Zapier does for you and your business. Well, Zapier is going to allow you to automate your entire processes with a simple function that they call a Zap. So you can automate your entire business with this kind of of application. So let's say if you're running a business and you have things like a email marketing campaign, you have your Facebook page, you have your project management software, uh, you can integrate all of these tools together in one platform with Zapier. So to get started with Zapier, all you have to do is click on sign up on the top right over here. Uh, once you click on sign up, you can choose to sign up with your Microsoft ID, with your Facebook ID, or you can enter your email and first name and last name and sign up with your email address as well. I'm going to get started with my gmail address over here just to simplify the sign up process and once you do that this is going to be your basic section so they're going to ask you how you would like to customize your experience and what is your basic role so let's say our basic role over here is business owner and we have one to 49 uh, people in our company after that you can choose what kind of apps you want to integrate into your zapier application so what are the tools that you are already using let's say i am using google sheets i'm using Slack, I am using Discord, not Slack, just Discord, and I'm using Asana. Maybe I'm also going to add another platform as well, just to show you guys. So let's search for MailChimp as our email marketing partner. So I've selected four basic applications that I am going to be using to get started with Zapier. Now you're going to select all of the applications you are using to complete your work or do your work, whatever it might be. And then you're just going to click on finish setup over here and once you click on finish setup this is going to be your basic dashboard so on your dashboard on your left you have a navigation panel where you have your dashboard zaps transfers applications and zap history then on your top right you have your account settings and logout so so to get started all you have to do is you can click on create zap on the top left over here and once you click on create zap you can begin by creating your first automation now first off you have to choose the trigger of the event that would start your automation so let's say uh, whenever a new task is created new task in a project I'm going to continue and then for this you will have to connect your Asana account onto Zapier just like that so we're going to click on allow so now I'm just going to choose my Gmail account over here and I'm going to choose the board you can see I have multiple boards on Asana so I'm just going to choose one of these boards and then we're just going to click on over here and I'm going to choose a trigger so I'm going to choose my sales workforce and within the sales board of Asana whenever in the marketing project sales I'm going to test my trigger. So once this is created, uh, I can test my trigger as well. Then I can perform my action. So what is going to be the action whenever a new task in Asana is created? What I might want is I might want a MailChimp campaign to be created and I can choose an event like create campaign uh, whenever a new task is created in Asana. So this is just one of the simple ways that you can create a simple automation using Zapier. And now I can just log into my MailChimp account as well to make sure that I have just all of the integrations. So we're just going to log in this. You can create multiple different automations in Zapier. So I'm just going to save this as a draft for now. And I'm going to show you guys another simple automation that you can get started with. So you can see this is my homepage now. I have created this, these two uh, zaps, you could say, or automations that I have. And, and these are enabled in my homepage. I can choose to turn them on and off depending on if I currently need them or not. Then I can also go into my app section and add more applications into my uh, Zapier your account so you can add more connections you can add more accounts that you use so let's create another zap just so you guys better understand on how to create your automations on zapier you're going to click on create zap once more and we're going to create a different kind of automation now let's say within google sheets let's choose an event where we have a new spreadsheet and whenever a new spreadsheet is created in my google sheets account and i'm just going to choose the account over here 
Then after that, I'm going to choose the trigger. So you can add a specific trigger as well for a specific value. And then you can start testing your trigger as well. So let's say okay, we have my Google Drive. And I'm going to click on continue. And then I'm going to choose my action. So you can also click on add over here and add more details to your actions as well. And you can add multiple actions. So I'm going to add a two-step action, which could be first off, let's say in Asana, I want to create a new task. So whenever a new spreadsheet in Google in Google Spreadsheets is created, I want to create a task and I can choose my account. And this is going to be the account. And where do I want to create this new task? I'm just going to continue over here. So I can just set up all of that information over here as well. So I'm just going to select all of the workspaces that I want to be using to create my task in Asana. And then you can also add the due dates. You can enter text. You can enter uh, the assignee, assignee status, all the values that you would usually add on Asana. You can directly add it from Zapier. So this is one thing that is so amazing about using this kind of application is that not only can you create simple automations, but you can add all of the details that you would usually add by opening up the separate platform. So after that, we can enter the name of our task which would be a view. So after that, I'm just going to enter the name of my new task. I want the new task to be a review news sheet. So this is the new task that would be created and I'm just going to click on continue and then I'm just going to skip the test and then I'm going to add another action. Maybe I want two actions to happen. So after that, maybe I also want an email marketing campaign or I want to send a Gmail email to my boss or CEO. So you can also do that as well. I'm just going to remove this for now and I'm just going to click on delete. And then once I have done that, I'm just going to test trigger, test trigger over here. And then I'm going to skip this test. And now I can just click on publish and publish and turn on and turn on my new SAP. So that is how simple and easy it is to automate your entire process on Zapier. If we take a look at their plans and pricing, it is available for free for upwards of 100 tasks per month with five free zaps that you can create and 15 minute update times. Then you have the starter version starting at $19.99, where you have 20 zaps and 15 minute update time with multi step zaps, transfers three premium apps, filters, formatters, and connections via webhooks. Then there's also a professional version starting at $49 where you have unlimited depth and many other features as well. I think that using Zapier can really optimize your workflow and going for the team or professional version and the team version costs around $300 where you have unlimited depths, you have shared app connections, you have shared workspaces, auto replay, unlimited users as well. So if you have like a very large enterprise and you need unlimited tasks, you have a bunch of users, then I would recommend you should opt for the team version. But if you have, if you just have like a small team and you're looking for like a good automation platform, going for the professional version will also be good for you starting at 49 USD per month. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any any social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that I could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and I will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video